So um, as far as a new handler picking a school, um, I'm still relatively a new handler. I've been doing this about a year and a half now, and I have the, I had the opportunity to, to go to True Canine International with Leos. Um, you want to go somewhere that you're going to actually learn how to train your dog. Um, to go somewhere with a dog that's fully trained, you're going to come back with a, a brief experience of how to deal with the training that's already been given to them is a disservice to you. Um, I don't want, I'm, I'm glad I was had the opportunity, let me, um, I was glad I was at, had the opportunity of coming here with, uh, with a clean slate, I had a dog that didn't have a ton of experience um, and didn't have a bunch of uh, obedience already instilled him and I got the opportunity to train him myself. Yeah, <laughs> Um, when I got my dog, um, we didn't even have a sit command at the time, and I was taught how to teach him everything myself. Um, Leo isn't going to break everything down to the point where he's telling you this is exactly what you do to do this. He's going to show you how to do it, and then you're going to afford the opportunity to do it in front of him, um, which was extremely beneficial for me. Lady, check it. Um, there are other schools I've seen guys come out of. Um, they, they, their dogs are given a baseline and that's all they ever have. That's all they ever have with the dog. They'll come out, their dogs have basic sit and lay. They might have a heel. I've seen some that don't. Um, when they don't have a heel, um, it leads into a lot of other stuff, difficulties with outing and other things like that. But with him specifically, I was taught how to teach him. So um, the dogs themselves are going to get there. No say. Lahni. Are extremely high drive and they always want to do something. As you can see now, he wants to go do something right now. We passed a car a second ago, he immediately went into sniffing. Um, it's just, they're, they're bred better. Um, the dogs that are you're, you're, you're able to get through True Canine International are always ready to go do something. Um, they're high energy, high drive. Um, the dogs themselves are, uh, the, the, results, the results speak for themselves. Um, when you're on the streets, this dog already, in, uh, in 2018 was sitting at a hundred and over 140 drug arrest um, over half of that being felonies 2019's on par with that um, he's got a successful live bite and track um, of uh, felony suspects and uh, as far as the, the so just a, a brief overview I'm, I'm only been a handler for a year and a half this dog had pretty much zero obedience when I necessarily got him let me check it Tove, 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 tove. Lehni. Check A. Check A. Stuck A. Stuck Yeah. Here. Can I have that? Yeah. Boost. Check A. Lehni. Tove, tove. Lehni. Uh-uh. No Z. Lehni. Lehni. Check A. Sit down. Stewie, <laughs> So that in general is just, I mean, we were at this point, maybe at the eight month mark and um, no one else taught him any of those commands. That was me teaching him as a fresh handler with no experience, just based off the experience I got through Tra True Canine International in the handler course. Um, and any, other, any dog you get is gonna be able to do that through TCI. I can't speak on other dogs as far as from other places, but the drive that he came with and the uh, and the drive, the energy, the veracity he has in terms of his bite work and everything, it's uh, it's easy to teach him because there, there's so much foundation already there for you over them selecting such good dogs and the experience you get through TCI in terms of how to teach just that right there, um, which we still got more we're more we're doing, um, but it's an open book. Once you learn how to teach the basic things for TCI, you can teach your dog anything you want.